Welcome to the Bold Signy Signature Tutorial. This video will guide you on setting an expiration date and limiting responses in bulk links. The expiration date is the predetermined time when a bulk link becomes inactive, preventing further access or completion by signers. This feature encourages timely completion and compliance with legal or regulatory timelines. Limiting responses refers to setting a predefined number of signers allowed to respond to a bulk link, preventing an unlimited number of responses. This functionality improves resource management, provides controlled access, and streamlines the process, maintaining a structured document approval environment. Imagine a scenario where a registration manager in an event organization company is responsible for creating a bulk link for individuals interested in a marathon event. The bulk link document includes special offers and is limited to 100 users with a limited validity period of five days. To achieve this, the registration manager must specify the response limit and expiration date during the bulk link creation process. This ensures that once the limit or expiration date is reached, the bulk link becomes deactivated, preventing further access by other users. To start the process, I access the bold sign application page. I click the Create New button. Then I choose Create New Bulk Link, which takes me to the Prepare Bulk Link page. I enter the title of the bulk link in the title field. Next, I enter the welcome and acknowledgement messages in their respective fields. I then upload the marathon registration form by clicking the Browse button in the Add File section. I scroll down to the Initiator Role section. Here I need to assign the Initiator Role. Since the role is Signer, I leave it as it is. I move to the Settings section. To set the Limit Response, I activate the Limit Response option. This allows me to enter a response limit for this bulk link. I can also use the Increasing and Decreasing dropdowns to set the required limit. I then set the expiration date in the Expires field. By default, this option is enabled. I set the expiration date to be within five days. The exact expiration date and time are displayed here. Once done, I check my changes once and click the Next button. This takes me to the Configure field page, where I'll set up the form fields. I drag and drop the name and signature fields. I click the Create Bulk Link button. The bulk link is successfully created, and I can copy the URL link and share it with all the applicants. If the bulk link is accessed after it expires or reaches the response limit, an Access Denied pop-up will appear, indicating that the link cannot be accessed further. After creating the bulk link, though I can still change the response limit and expiration date on the overview page of the bulk link. That's all there is to setting an expiration date and limiting responses for bell clinks in bold sign. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to our channel for more bold sign tutorial videos.